What's up guys, welcome back to more Kirby's Return to Dreamland. So in the last episode we beat Onion Ocean and in today's episode we're gonna go ahead and beat the boss for Onion Ocean and then start on level four. So um yeah, the Onion Ocean was a water level, of course, you know, hence the name Onion Ocean. So um right here the powers they give us give us a parasol, they give us spear and ice. But I'm gonna go ahead and go with the spear because that actually is not one of my favorite powers in the game now. Because it actually um you can actually hit really quick with it, and um, I honestly don't know what the boss for this level is going to be, so let's see what it is. Alright, I see eyes, so I'm assuming it's something like a seahorse or a fish, something like that. Oh, it's a, it's a fat fish. It is a walrus, I guess. It's called Fatty Puffer, right? So let's stay away from Mr. Fatty right here and just start, like, try it. Let's go. Okay, you got to re, re, re. Nice to dodge that right there. Alright, if we just sit there and hit him quickly. So he, he lost half of his health. Now what's going on now? Ooh, he blew up into like this huge thing now. Hit the wall. Just keep hitting him. Alright, so towards the end, I'm going to do a quick trick to show you guys how to kill him easier. Alright, I'm going to get rid of my power up. And then I'm going to do this. Hit him with it, so it's gonna take a little bit more extra. That's like an easier way to kill him, or to take more health off of him. And then when he hits the wall or something, he's actually gonna, um, two star things are gonna show, or they're gonna just come right now, right now. All right, yeah, two star powers, and then you can go ahead and hit him. Oh, that just bounced right off of him. All right, not too good. We need that. All right, there you go. That kill them. Let's see if we can suck. Oh, no, you can't suck big guys. But yeah, here is n another part of the ship that we needed. So I think there's five. So this is number three then. So there's only two to go. So we got to be two more levels. Yeah, Kirby's in the moonwalk. And he's showing off his dance skills like an epic pink ball because cause he just beat a fat, fat fish. All right, so let's see what part this was. I believe this is like a wing. This is one of the wings, because we got one of the wings from level 2. So let's see it connect to the ship. Yep, it was the, the left wing right now. So there we go, we got both wings of the ship. Now we just need two more items and we're done with the ship. Then he can take us to wherever, his homeland. Let's see what he's going to say. His name is Magolor. Magalor. Okay, whatever. Welcome back, Kirby. With the left wing back in place, the wings are finally complete. It's finally looking like a real star cutter again. If you can find the last two parts, the lore will be flying again in no time. Keep it up, Kirby. I believe in you. Alright, thank you for your appreciation, I guess. So let's go ahead and get on the world map again, and we'll see what we have to do next. And it looks like an ice level to me, so... Yeah, probably not. Okay, it's called White Waffers. Okay, let's see this. Level 4 White Waffers. Hopefully it's a good level. Or a good world. They call them levels in here, and then stages. And like New Super Mario Bros. Way, I'm used to saying worlds, and then levels. So you got, in every level, a world. But let's see what this gives us. That gives us nothing. Um, oh, we got some Waddle Dees packed in here with like a telescope. I guess because they get really cold, they probably like have heaters in there and stuff. It's pretty cool. They're all warm. Let's see what this guy is. Ooh, a fighter. This is the first time we've ever seen this power. Nice. I like that. Ooh, do, do some awesome Dragon Ball Z moves. Ah, yeah. Kick. Falcon. Let's see if he can do like a Falcon Punch. No, he can't, unfortunately. Alright, so these things look innocent. Here, let me actually go to another When I go to another one, I'll show you guys how innocent they look. They're like evil, right? These bats I hate. Okay, um, here's some Model Ds. Um, was that? Okay, hold on. I thought there was spikes down on the floor, so I'm kind of... Nope, nothing. So yeah, I could have just went on the floor. Alright, let's go in here. Alright, so I know... I'm gonna need ice to actually do, um, or to cool that down, but I wanna keep the, my 
fight power right with me, my fighter. I'm not interested in getting fire to go in this place. I'm not interested in getting um ice to go in the fireplace. So I'm gonna keep this. So, cause last time I got a lot of troll comments be like, dude, you're supposed to get rid of your power to get the water power so you can cool, so you can uh, turn, so you can. Uh, they said something. They said something about blocks. All right. So right now we got this thing. And it's like a hornet, and then it just goes ahead and shoots black balls or cannons. Alright, so this is actually a really useful item in the game. I really like this thing. Helps you get through a lot of stuff. I don't know what those items are called, or those enemies are called, but apparently Waddle Dees can run on them. So let me go ahead and just shoot them down. Okay, we got a lot of star bits right here. Aw oh, damn it, we could have got some ice cream. Star bits and a one up. Oh well. Let's go in here. Alright, here's a cannon. Oh man, please no. Aw, oh, this is like Donkey Kong Country returns all over again. Barrel rolls. Alright, so which one's the pro which one's the right way? Please this one. Oh my gosh, you don't know how much I hate barrel rolls. I get so nervous when I do these. Alright, so that was the right one. Alright, so this is going to be nerve-wracking right here. Go right there. Alright, thank god we made it. Alright, we did that one perfectly fine. Alright, so try not to fall. Okay, thank god. Um, which way, which way, which way, which way? I'm going to go ahead and take this way. Alright, is this it? Yes, 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 yes. Good thing we did it. Or we did it right, so I hate Bitter Wolves so much. Sun Conquered Returns made me hate those because of how many times I die on them. Alright, let's go ahead and see these. These are like frozen flowers, and you can still collect things from inside of them. And then let's just slide through these because those things are not too well. And we got some pie with strawberries on top so I'm gonna just falcon punch all these guys right so I don't know I think these are needles yeah I believe those are needles right there they give you like the needle power I'm just gonna pull that down and let's see we need I, I believe we need to go somewhere to get through that way but oh well. we haven't collected any energy spheres in this level so far so it's not a good thing I want my fighter back. Ooh, yeah. He's a Ryu from Street Fighter. No, it's just... Okay, what's this? What's this? He is a giant egg. Alright, so I believe if we kill this, he will give us a special item. Look how fast we're coming in with the fighter. Um, let's... Well, that, that did it. Right, so I'm gonna take. No, no! I accidentally sucked the fighter with the, with that guy. Probably would he would he was gonna give us a sword, but oh well. Sword is actually my favorite item in the game, so I'd much rather have a sword than anything else. All right, oh well, fighter is still good. Let's see what we can get. We get level three, nice. All right, so we got. 39 four or star bits. I was gonna say forest fairies. I'm so used to Z Zelda four swords. I've been playing that game forever. All right, so let's go ahead and go to stage two. Now let's see. It's also an ice platform floor, so we're like going really quick. And then we get oh, okay. So they got like snowballs spawning right out of the ground. And just like the first level, instead of trees falling, they have ice or snowmen falling. Okay, so what's that? That guy. Hey, that didn't look like a fighter to me. He didn't look like one of those fighter peoples. Let me go ahead and just get you guys. I actually like the um people with the blades or the cutters. That's what they are. I like those a lot. Come here. No, no, no. Alright, by the time we go back, they'll probably just spawn. 
Yep. I like the blade a lot just because. No, damn it, Kirby! I don't click up, and they still he still enters into the door. That is so weird. What is the? What are these? Can we? Can they give us power? No, they don't give us power. It's a way to make us lose our fighter ability. Well, at least we got fire. Fire will be pretty useful in the ice. At least we gotta keep ourselves warm. And let me suck both of you. Maybe it'll give us double the firepower. Guess not, and there we go. No, I actually need the firepower, because I need to light that. Hopefully we don't die. Die! Oh, I did. Okay, so I have to be careful now. Alright. B oh, oh damn. Alright. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and wait. Alright, fall. Break that. Alright, wait, wait for it, wait for it. Okay. I guess I can go back now and light that thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 He's gonna die right there. Go, 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 damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, I died. I know you guys are gonna say I suck, but I don't care. I'm actually, if, you, if you're playing this, if you played this level, you're gonna know how hard it is to control with Kirby on like a very slippery floor. Plus like by the time like I push Kirby to stop or I push the back button um, for him to slow down, he still keeps going, so it's really frustrating. Plus, the icicles that are falling from up top aren't helping me at all. So, yeah. Plus, the fact that I lose my power just from one hit. Jesus, man. They could at least make, like, a couple hits, not just fucking one hit. Oh, well. Screw that. I'm not even gonna try it, man. Ah, oh, damn it. I need a power just to get through that freaking door. Okay, come here. Damn you. Alright, now let's wait for that icicle to fall. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with it. Damn you. Seriously, by the time I go, it'll be already too late. Go, get in it, get in it. Thank God! Oh my Jesus, I finally did it. What? What? Okay, so how is this gonna work? I'm gonna have to work, go quickly. Alright, so... There, there's an energy sphere up there, so... I guess that was... Pretty, pretty much worth it, I guess, because we got an energy sphere. If it was just food, then yeah, it would have been totally pointless. Probably would have been pissed because I did this, but no, it's an energy sphere, which is a good thing. Alright, so let's go in here. See those mushrooms? Come here, mushroom. Alright, I took your hat, and you're cool with that? Okay, I'm gonna use you as a. my, 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 my weapon. Damn it, damn it, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna die, I need food. I've been playing around too much. Alright, so we hit that. Should be food like underneath these icicle things. Because they always give us food like right here. Ooh. Damn, wow, way to go. So apparently you slip on the ice too with that shoe, so I'm probably not going to take it this time. Alright, there. I, I, I absolutely dislike any ice level in any game. Like, especially Super Mario, like New Super Mario Bros. V, I've hated the ice levels. Like, it, I did a let's play before for that game on my old channel and that was like my least favorite level of all time so 
just because of the amount of times I failed at it. And that is pretty, pretty stupid because I'm like dying on like something so easy. Just like falling, it's not even like an enemy or a boss. Alright, I'm not, I'm not going to take the boot. Screw you. Let's see what that goes. Ice. Okay, sweet. I'd much rather have ice power. Because we can actually slide. And then glide whenever we need to, so... Alright, so yeah, unfortunately then, now that we don't have the boot, we can't actually go into that place. Here they give us another one, but oh, I'm not even gonna take it. Maybe I should have, because it's like a closed area. It's not an open area. See, how come when those things hit us, or like any enemy in general hits us, we don't lose our power? But then when like icicles hit us, we immediately lose our power. Okay, so I skipped those. Star bits, probably not that useful or that important. Some spiders right there. Let's go see what else. Slide down. Ooh. A lot of snowmen. Gets you in the Christmassy spirit, right? Okay, another one of those. I might just. Ooh. Yeah. Got my favorite power up. Or power. Now let's see what we have to fight right here. What are you? These super bonkers. Okay, I don't know what this thing is, but it looks fun to kill. Or it looks like it has a good item that I really enjoy, so. Damn you. Give me my sword back. There you go, there you go, mister. There you go. Ooh, what's this? Grand Hammer. I've never even had the hammer to have the Grand Hammer. Right, so let's go ahead and see what it does. Okay, here's something I'm pretty sure we're gonna need. Alright, oh, I shake my wheel. Okay, let's see what that does. Whoa, it pushes everything down. Ooh, food, yummy. There, we're at f almost at full health now. Do we do it on these? Let's see. Uh huh, those things didn't get affected from it, so. I guess not. I guess it's only these logs. So there's two levels of those. There's actually level 1, level 2, and level 3. If you shake it quick, you'll be able to get all three levels of the hammers. Alright, up here, let's see what we'd have to do to get into that place, because I see, see a s energy sphere. Okay, and now those are the enemies that I'm talking about. They look really innocent, but then as soon as they turn their back on you, or you turn your back on them, they look like freaky little bats. Oh, it's, those things just pop out. They're like mystery boxes. Jack in the boxes, pretty much. They shoot things at you. Or they just pop out of their little hole in the box. Oh, that was nice. Alright, so yeah, that's the end of the level. We still have over half of the power left for the super hammer. Fly. Alright. I heard the boss for this level, at the end of this level, was really cool because my friend Red Panda Gamer is doing the game, so he said it was an awesome boss, so that would be pretty. I'm actually really excited to check it out. So let's go ahead and do level 3 right now. Ooh, we're 19 minutes into the vid, so if this takes like eight, a couple minutes then, or a few minutes, then that would be fine. Fire, come here. Mm. Right, so now that I have firepower, ooh, what do they what what do they do? Oh, they shoot pills or, or balls, balls of ice, dust, crystal ice shards, thingies, some pie. What is what are you? That's a ninja, or, or actually that's a spear. So yeah, and our fire ability is useless underwater, of course. Um, what the? That's like a huge spiky clam. Ooh, what the heck is it doing? 
And now those fish with goggles are gonna like chase me right now. Alright, so I managed to avoid all of those spike clam thingies. Um, are there any more? Pretty sure. Oh, dang. And, like once you lose your power underwater, you cannot get it back. It explodes within like two seconds. Just get away from these monkey things. Nice that you killed it. Good riddance. Took my freaking power. Okay, there's a door finally. We got in this room. What's this? Those are icicle snowballs. But no. All right. Save myself quickly. I want those star bits? Let me get you a needle. Needed. All right. Oh, sweet. It's like a drill. Did what? I lost my needle too, and it's like completely gone. What the what the what? Okay, get away from that. Let me get you, because, yeah, you, you're like the only thing in, that I see right now. Luckily, I avoided that huge one. Okay, so we got stone, which is probably my least favorite power-up, because it's pretty much useless, because there's nothing really you can do with it. If you think, because what are you going to do, just that? Alright, so there's water in this room. I'm actually going to exchange you, I'm going to absorb you. Cutter, I'd much rather have Razor Leaf instead of... Alright, there you go. Instead of stone. Does it take Okay, pie. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. Please. Actually. Huh. How do you how do you get up there? Okay, I guess you can. There's ice, but I'm not gonna get the ice because yeah, I like cutter better than ice. There's some eels right there. Just avoid get No no no, I knew it. Damn it, my cutter is gone. Alright, I need health because I'm low on health. Alright, so we got one of these things. Damn it. I think we're supposed to put it on it. Alright, so let's go ahead and push that up. By the time we go down, it's probably going to explode. Alright, so, come on. Do your thing. Okay, cool. Now we got that. Ooh, there's food and there's another ball. Let me guess what this ball is going to take us to. Go quick, go quick, go quick. Go quick. Go quick. What? That's it? So what's the point of that? Why did they give you two balls? Maybe I just didn't look hard enough. Alright, so this is a water galboros. Um, I assume since they put one here that I'm going to need its power, so I'm probably going to absorb it. Come here. Come here. I got the water power. Give me that. Oh, okay, that's what I needed it for. There's a Waddle D up here. And then we go ahead and just do that. Go down here, and... There's an Energy Sphere, which is, is worth it. Because, you know, you don't have to collect all Energy Spheres, but the more you collect, the more mini games you get. So, yeah. And then we got a Max Tomato. And then we are at the end of the level, so yeah. It's actually pretty good that I did it, because it's like a four minute level anyways. Let's see what we get this time. We get two, nice. So yeah, I'm going to end the video right here, so I don't drag it on too long. That is pretty much it for this episode, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the rest, because we've got stage four, stage five, I believe. I believe there's stage five, and then the boss. 
So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.